This is Dr. Gerhauser, and I'd like to share with you my principles for a healthy diet. Number one, learn how to make beef, lamb, fish, and chicken stocks, and use these as a base for making soups and as a base for cooking other foods, such as rice. The bone broths give you a bioavailable source of minerals that is sorely missing from the typical modern diet. Number two, whole grains should be soaked and stone ground. Modern processing has turned bread, which is supposed to be the staff of life, into the pitchfork of the devil. Refined grain is a junk food that is mainly empty calories. Whole grain is not much better if it's not soaked and sprouted, or if it's still exposed to those very high temperatures used in the milling process. Okay, number three, work up to about an ounce of virgin organic coconut coconut oil in your diet every day. Don't believe the insane campaign nutritionists and doctors have against saturated fats. We couldn't live without them as they're a part of the structure of every single cell in your body. The bad fats are the factory fats, which should be avoided just as you would avoid any other poisonous compound. Number four, use dairy products that are raw and grass-fed if possible. Pasteurized milk is hard to digest, and it doesn't have the many benefits of raw milk. Why miss out on the only food in nature that is solely designed to support mammalian health? This is also a great way to get a variety of needed microorganisms for your microbiome. Number five. Now, not everyone's going to like this one, but try to eat liver regularly. It should be from organic grass-fed animals. And the reason is to get enough animal source vitamin A. Or you can take a traditionally prepared cod liver oil supplement. Or you could do like I do and eat a lot of fish eyes. Again, I'm leery of any super processed fish oil where the vitamins are removed and then placed back in. Then why even take fish oil at all? Just take the vitamins. I have a video on how vitamins may shorten your life. Number six, try to include raw vegetables like a salad every day. When everything you eat is cooked, you never get as much of the heat labile nutrients that food contains and also never get the living enzymes and microorganisms that are so important for optimal health. Number seven, nuts are best if raw, organic, and soaked. This is for the same reasons, to get the living enzymes and the heat sensitive nutrients that these wonderful creations contain. Number eight, beans and legumes are best soaked or fermented. Otherwise, they're difficult to digest properly. Number nine, red meat should be organic and grass-fed. My favorite and one of the healthiest is raw hamburger. Number 10, chicken should be pastured as well as their eggs. Free range written on the box doesn't mean that much. Avoid the omega-3 eggs as they are fed inferior, rancid, omega-3 containing seeds that no self-respecting chicken would eat unless that was all they had available. Number 11, try to drink a lacto-fermented beverage or eat a fermented food every day. The fermented foods help with digestion and they also help you populate your microbiome. Number 12, for sweeteners use raw honey, stevia, organic cane sugar, or organic maple syrup. All of the artificial sweeteners have reported side effects, and most of them have been shown to increase sugar craving. They make you fatter, and they make you more likely to become diabetic. Now, I'm sure I don't have to mention that you should try to avoid high fructose corn syrup sweeteners. Number 13, use organic fats and oils. Most of the toxins that are out there are fat soluble and will concentrate in the fat. So it's a high priority for these types of foods, the fats, to be organic. Number 14, fish should be wild caught. Farm raised fish are usually fed toxic garbage along with antibiotics, hormones, and other crap. You wanna stay away from those. Number 15, have dessert on a regular basis. The best desserts in the world are made straight from natural products. If you want to be happy, eat a dessert. 
Now, if you're into this kind of information, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the button above. Got another item for the list you'd like to add? Leave it in the comments section below. This is Dr. Gerhauser. Thanks for watching.